I've been meaning to make this video about how I was employed for a split second and then got fired. <laughs> a lot of my family and friends are wanting to know the story and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys. I had this whole elaborate video planned out about... Um, how I was hired, fired, and I wanted to get a whole bunch of clips and all that stuff. But um, it, it just, it was just taking away from the initial message of the video that I wanted to produce. So I scrapped it and here we are. I put on some makeup, turn on the record, you know. Um, I got an iPhone 12 Pro Max when I was employed because I thought that I could afford it. <laughs> uh, guess not. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so here's my story. So in November 2020, I got a job offer for a job in Silicon Valley. Um, it was based in Toronto, but working with a startup in the tech capital of the world was something super exciting to me. It was my first full-time job. I graduated from my master's program in uh, August 2020. So this was like a really big, big thing for me. So I was called in for a Zoom meeting that was scheduled for an hour. And then I noticed that the CEO was in that same meeting. And I was like, oh, this is so weird. I had no idea what was what was going to happen. I just took the day off sick, my only sick day off. Mind you, I got LASIK during that entire process, but still continued to work. Okay. And um, I got called in. They were like, hey, I'm sorry, but we have to let you go. And... All I could say was like, yeah, I, I saw it coming. And that whole interaction took, I would say like less than five minutes. There was nothing that I could do or say to make them change their mind. And there's nothing that I wanted to say or do to make them change their mind. Because in my head, I thought like, great, now I have a vacation. Like now I get to have time off. And I'm like, looking back, like, what the fuck? You know, like, it took for me to get fired in order to get vacation time. I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was really fucked up. Okay, editor's note about that uh, whole vacation thing. So a lot of tech companies would say that you have unlimited vacation days. And it's kind of an unspoken rule where you should only be taking a vacation on Fridays or Mondays to have that long weekend, but you cannot take vacation days for like a week or two weeks or three weeks. Um, and a lot of people are scared to do that or even ask for that because you can get fired for that. And in California, you can be fired without any reasoning. And that's just the law out there. It's pretty fucking crazy. And I remember everything leading towards this whole um, process. I was so depressed. I remember, um, I remember like reaching out to my friend, like, "Hey, I don't think I could do this anymore. I am so, so, so depressed. I think I need to get help." I was. I remember being on the phone, just begging my friend for help. You know, and. Um, my life wasn't even that great too while I was working. Like I could not read a book without thinking like, oh my God, I have work tomorrow. I cannot sleep without thinking like, oh my God, I have work in a few hours. I have to do this all, like this whole thing over and over again. And um, I lost so much hair too. My skin was so bad. I had eczema. I still have eczema. It's not as bad as it used to be like from, you know, three to four weeks ago from when I got fired. But like this whole stress and over exhaustion and overworking thing was manifesting um, onto my entire body. Like I went to my hairstylist to get my hair done and he was like, your hair is so, so, so fine compared to what it was like before. Um, but I can see baby hairs growing in because I was taking biotin and omega-3 right after I got fired and let go or let go. Um, but it, it kind of made me tear up because I was like, damn, like I saw this. I remember seeing my bald spots um, when I tied my hair up. 
up for the down tail pillow. Oh. They look more luxurious in what's up. And this one just has like stunning embroidered details. But I just didn't do anything because I thought that was the way of life. I thought that, okay, I'm losing hair, but at least I'm contributing to society or something, you know? And in a way, I'm so glad I did get fired because it took me that whole experience to see that this was not the way of life. Like this was not it. And I knew that like if I wasn't um, let go, I still would have continued working, still would have continued being miserable, still would have had less hair. And that really scares me because the amount of time that I was depressed in that job was way shorter than when I was let go. So I was depressed for, I would say like five weeks. And then once I got let go, I was depressed for a week and then just continued on with my life. Started journaling, started reading more books, started um, reconnecting with friends that I've been ignoring since I got hired. So just to clarify, I did not stop talking to my friends because I was hired. I stopped talking to my friends because I was so freaking busy with my job at the time. That was one of the major drawbacks, I mean, the major benefits of being let go. Um, I guess the only major drawback is that I don't have a salary anymore. Like I got my severance pay and all that stuff, but I don't have um, that whole money value aspect, which is completely fine because during my time of employment, I used to buy stuff to make myself feel better. Like I bought Bottega Veneta's shoes because I was so, so, so depressed about my job. I hated my job, but I'm like, if I get these shoes, I'll be happy. Never even worn them. Didn't take them out ever. Like they're still packaged up. And um, now that I'm unemployed, I'm happier. But the only anxiety that I'm very scared about is being hired again and going through that same anxiety that same stress that same mindset again like I I'm scared <laughs> you know like I know that I'll be okay I really really do in terms of finding that next job finding that next position but I just want to make sure that I'm good at that job or I want to make sure that this job doesn't overwork me like the previous job I just don't want to be in that same <sighs> I don't want to be in that same situation I was. And that really scares me. Like every time someone reaches out to me for a job opportunity or a job interview, I schedule it so far out in advance because I dread it so, 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 so much, you know? Um, and I don't want to lose myself like that again because I lost myself. I lost myself in those five months. Um, I really correlated my identity with that position, that company. And they really just dropped me like that all of a sudden, you know? And to this day, I still don't understand why. I don't know the reason. Um, I mean, I think I do, but I'm not really clear on it. But either way, all I can do right now is continue to learn, reflect, and just move on. And... Um, be a better person, making sure that I'm okay, you know, like, I remember someone asking me, like, so what are your hobbies, what are your interests, and I was just like, I don't know, like, I work, like, that was literally, like, what I wanted to say, obviously, I didn't say that, but I was just like, huh, I really don't have anything other than my job, so, um, that was really scary, but uh, yeah, and the reason why I wanted to make this video was because I saw a video from this girl called Lynette, I want to say, and her video title was, I Do Not Dream of Labor, and ex it explained how we only work out of fear. We don't actually like what we're doing but we're just scared to be unemployed. We're scared to not have that money, you know? Um, and that really drains us. So 
it was nice to watch a video and have someone kind of clarify what I've been feeling because I wasn't sure how I was supposed to feel. And her just saying that kind of made me feel like my beliefs and my emotions are validated. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just rambling on at that point. But um, that's my, my story. Um, I'm not in any rush to be employed. Um, I want to make sure that I'm a good fit for this job. I want to make sure that they know that I'm a good fit, that they're confident with me. I don't want to be known as the girl who just graduated from school so she needs to be babied she needs to be learned like taught all these stuff and you know um so yeah yeah and you know what during this whole time that i've been unemployed i got back to the basics like i got back to reading being present in that moment you know reading that book or journaling understanding how i feel um you know, like I was longboarding the other day. I never longboard. Um, I, I don't know, like I was drawing, like I haven't drawn in months. It sucks that I had to get fired in order for me to revisit my hobbies and my, you know, my love of life and reconnect with my soul. <laughs> this is so cheesy. Okay, I've been rambling on. But, um, yeah, just make sure that whatever you do, you don't lose yourself in it because you are more than your job. You are more than that salary you make, you know? So, um, yeah, this is, this is my rant. This is my story. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's not my first video on this page because I used to post videos all the time, but I just deleted it because my future employers might see. Um, but now I say, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I want everyone to hear my story. Maybe someone out there has a similar story. Um, and maybe I can help someone who might be in that state where they fucking hate their job, you know? So, um, yeah. Thank you for listening. Ugh.